In the morning, in the morning, there was a girl asking about Enes, huh? She said, where is Enes? What is this girl? She asked about you. In the balloon paper barrier, she saw, you know, she saw you somewhere on the top. She was asking. So ladies and gents, in a minute we will get there. I'll give you 20 minutes there because it's small, it's not big. 20 minutes, you'll just see the site. You will see different shapes, rocks in different forms. But there's one thing interesting. There's a camel there, you will spot it for sure. It's like a camel, there's a rock. <laughs> Okay, your left side is the camel. It's it's so obvious. It's so obvious. <laughs> so obvious. Okay, I'll give you 20 minutes. And behind me, you may not see behind me, right there, right says the Napoleon Bonaparte cap. You see Napoleon Bonaparte's cap. Right side, the French general, for those who know him, right side. His cap, his cap is here. We will stop here. Three hours, no timing, okay? No timing. Time is gone. <coughs> Everywhere I will wait for you. Whenever you come, we will go. We can spend the whole day in one place. No problem for me. I will just go and have my coffee. Well, I am saying a hundred times. No, 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 sorry. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Actually, it's my fault. I It's called fresco. In the churches, on the walls of the churches, are some pictures that were made with a mixture of the paintings that are obtained from the different materials. And it is a seed from the Bibles. The Christians made the pictures to describe the scenes, the stories from the Bible, to teach people short. And they used pigeon eggs, They all mixed them up, made a material which will be so durable, which would last for long. They made paintings on the walls. Some of them are still really vivid and some faded, the colors faded away. That's called fresco. And if you see on a rock, small dish, which is...
In Cappadocia, my name is Ismail, and as you see, we are working with stones from different parts of Turkey. In the showroom, you will see around 40 different stones, but two of them are very important. Why? Because they are very typical and national stone of our country. First one, you know this one? Turquoise is the actual name, but uh, in some parts of the world, they know it as uh, Fruza as well. But it means Turk quartz, Turkish stone. Because first Turkish people use stone in their jewelries, that's why we name the stone with a Turk. Okay? But we can see the stone in different countries with different qualities. This is from China, very pale green, Chinese turquoise. This is from Arizona, America. And this light blue is from Iran and Afghanistan. But the best one is from our country, according to experts, of course, because the color is darker, deeper blue, and more shining. And when you compare with the others, you will see some more different minerals inside. Some shiny pieces inside. These are fool's gold, gold pyrites. Because of the pyrites, just Turkish stone oxidizes and turns into green in 30-40 years and then we call the green one antique turquoise this blue stone is young but you can see some greenish parts on it, right? Yeah. it starts to oxidize and in time this blue turns into green and they are going to call this one antique tur turquoise as well right? yes, because of the pyrites inside the stone oxidizes Okay, because of the oxidation, stone turns into green. Okay? And the most popular stone of our country these days, this is Zultanit, Sultanite. People know it as color changing stone. You may have heard about it after you come to Turkey, most probably. It exists only in one mountain in Turkey, nowhere else in the world. And there is no exportation because of very limited amount. But as you see, it is very rough and dirty. It's not very clear to use in jewelries. But after we crystallize the stone under high heat and pressure, the stone turns into very hard and clear enough to use in jewelries. Let me show you some samples here. For lunch, like 2 o'clock, we reserve the restaurant. We will come back here. Left side you see the castle, but we will come back here, don't worry. Because it's on the way. कुछ है तो नहीं यहाँ पे मतलब यहाँ क्यों रुका है इस रंग वाली पैसा फर्स्ट क्यों उसकी रखा नीचे चलें फ्री फोटो कुछ नहीं फ्री फ्री फोटो हाँ
Davis, brother. <laughs> Give you more. <coughs> All right. In our region, this tradition comes from the entire period. For nearly 1,000 years, it has been a that passing from generation to and next generations and the other in the family business. And the sixth generation. Urdu. <laughs> चरखा ही लग रहा है चरखा चरखा चाक कहते हैं सिख कुमार का चाक कहलाते हैं हम हम जो इसको कहते हैं जो ये चीज पोल्ट्री बनाते हैं घड़े मटके देखिया तो उसको कुमार कहते हैं मिट्टी से जो बनाते हैं उर्दू में उसको कुमार कहते हैं और इस चीज को जो ये घुमाते हैं इसको चाक कहते हैं उस पे वो चाक मतलब उर्दू का लफ्ज है चे अलिफ और काफ चाक मुझे याद आ गया This is for demonstration. It works manually, but for mass production, of course, today we have an electrical one. Just push on the pedal. It's easy, and you can work on it easier than this. And he is cutting from the bottom of the line. Is there anyone here for it? Please, pure talent. Dollar, dollar. You have dollar? Take anything you have for your dollar. This way. Say it out, sir. Why not? 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 This way, please.